everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, we are doing another pattern review for part of the dress series, dress number seven, which is the patch pocket dress utilizing Simplicity 9324. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into a quick pattern review for this dress that I have on, which is number seven, the patch pocket dress. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this pattern review, starting with the pattern description. So I am doing a pattern review for Simplicity 9324, which is a Mrs. Patch Pocket dress with two dress length variations. So you have a, sm a shorter view that stops right above your knees or right at the knees. And then you have another view that goes basically a little further past, like a medi length, okay? You also have an open back, open bodice back, which is view B and C, and then view A, you have a closed center back, but it has buttons. So all the buttons are on the back of your dress. Um, so it has like a button closure down the back, all the way down for view A from top to bottom, and then view B and C, you have two buttons at the top, and then the rest of them goes down the back of the skirt portion of your dress. Now that is the pattern description for this dress. Let's go ahead and talk about the skill level. So now Simplicity started adding skill levels to their patterns on their website. I'm not sure what this is rated as on the website, but I would say that this pattern is for an intermediate beginner. And the reason why I say that is because buttonholes, buttons, and then you also have to make sure that when cutting the pattern, it does not give you a waist measurement. So you have to kind of guesstimate based off of your bust measurement, okay? So that's why I say that it is for an intermediate beginner. Let's go ahead and talk about the notions used. So the notions used for this pattern, you just need thread and buttons. Now, I did view C, I believe. Yes, I did view C on the pattern. And for view C, it says nine um, five eighths of an inch buttons. However, I used a total of 10 buttons all the way down the length of my dress. So there's two at the top and then eight along the length of the skirt portion, um, basically the waistband, uh, which they call the midriff all the way down there's eight buttons for a total of 10 buttons now for view c it says that you only need nine but really you need 10 otherwise that last button will not be buttons okay but those are the notions used for this dress let's talk about fabric use so for this um, pattern i use a keepsake calico multi-large check ice cream plaid fabric. I'm going to put it up on the screen. I'm actually going to show, a, if I can, I'm going to link to the fabric um, as well, if it's still available, because I purchased this fabric, I want to say about three years ago. So if it's available, I purchased it, I purchased it from Joanne. So if it's available, I'll go ahead and link to it um, for you. So you could see what this fabric looked like on screen. All right. But that's the fabric used for this fabric, uh, for this pattern and for this dress. Let's go ahead and talk about the pattern pieces. Now, for this um, pattern, you need, I think it was nine pattern pieces. I'm sorry, 11 pattern pieces. So the pattern pieces that you need is pattern piece one, the bodice front, pattern piece number two, the side front for the bodice, pattern piece number four, the bodice side back, um, pattern piece number five, which is your front facing. Pattern piece number seven, your midriff front. Um, pattern piece number eight, your midriff back. Pattern piece number nine, your skirt front. Pattern piece number 10, your skirt back. And then pattern piece 11, the pockets, which is the patch pockets that goes on the front of your uh, dress. You also need pattern piece number 13, your bodice back. And pattern piece number... 14, which is your back facing. So those are all the pattern pieces that you need in order to construct this dress. 
All right, so let's talk about pattern sizing. So the pattern sizing for this pattern, the first envelope comes six to 14, and then the second envelope comes 14 to 22. Now the size that I cut for this pattern, um, I think I cut a size 16. So I cut a size 16, 16 because it gave me a finished garment measurement of a 42. Now, you may think, well, you normally cut a 43, 44. Well, this, depending on the view that you do, may determine which size you cut. Now, I cut a size 16 being a 42 because I knew, one, this is cotton fabric, so I wanted some room. However, because the back, which I'm going to turn to the back so you can kind of see this, the back is open. So because the back is open, I know I cannot wear a bra with this. I mean, you can, but it's going to look awkward to have a bra in that back opening section. So I went with a 42, which is a size 16, instead of going up to an 18, which gave me a 44. Now, if I was to do view A with the closed up back that has buttons, I would have probably went with a size 18 for a 44 inch bust to have a little bit more room. But I feel that this is spot on perfect for a 42 without, <laughs> without um, any bra or anything. But that is the size that I cut for this pattern. Let's talk about modifications. Did I make any modifications? No, because I feel like th with this dress, this reminds me of like a 1950, 1960s, um, on the go dress where it looks very plain in the front, but all the details are in the back of the dress, which I thought was amazing. So that's why in photos, I tried to capture as much of the back of the dress as possible, where all the, you know, <laughs> you know, all the work is done. The front of the dress just looked like a basic dress. Um, I'm pretty sure you could turn this dress around. However, because my back is open, I didn't want to turn it around and then have the tata -ta showing. So I didn't want to do that. Uh, but if I was to make view A, you can turn it around and have a different view of the dress, which I thought that would be amazing. But no, I did not make any modifications to this uh, pattern whatsoever. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about did it look like the photos or the drawing on the pattern envelope? So yes, it actually does. I think that it looks like exactly like the photos and the drawing on the pattern envelope. For this dress, I did dress it down with tennis shoes. And the reason why I did that is because you guys see me wear a lot of heels in photos. And for this one, I felt like in the 1950s, it wasn't about heels. It was more about not necessarily tennis shoes, but platform shoes. And I did not have any that went very well with what I have on. So I just paired it with some tennis shoes um, and called it a day. And I thought it worked pretty good. Um, but next time I wear this dress, I would definitely style it with heels, all right? <laughs> all right, let's move it on to, are the instructions easy to follow? Yes, the instructions are super easy to follow. Um, the only place that I could see where you can get tripped up with is the midriff facing and the midriff. So it tells you to attach the midriff to the bottom portion of the midriff, the midriff facing to the bottom of the midriff. So I attached it upside down originally. And then when I went to put on the skirt portion, attaching that to the midriff facing, like it says to do in the instruction, it was not working out for me. So then by the time I look at it a second time, it clicked that. I attach the midriff facing to the wrong side. Well, not the wrong side, but upside down. Good thing I did not cut off any seam allowance at that point. So it worked out perfectly for me to go ahead and fix it and then attach the skirt to the midriff uh, facing. So it worked out perfectly. But yes, um, the instructions are easy to follow. Let's talk about likes and dislikes quickly. I don't have any dislikes about this pattern other than the length. I mean, you could always shorten up the length if you don't like it, but I felt like the length was perfect for what I was going for. So I don't have any light. I mean, any dislikes, everything is lights. So let's go ahead and talk about first time experiences. Did I have any first time experiences? No, I did not. Everything that 
I had to do for this pattern I have done before. So there's no first time experiences whatsoever. All right, moving on into would I sew it again? Um, yes, I do plan on sewing this again. And the next time I sew it, I want to make it a two piece. I want to do the top portion bodice, extend it and make it a top, like a crop top. Um, not not necessarily, just extend it probably an inch or two to have it come like right above, like or right at the belly button. I think that would be perfect. And then um, do just the skirt section with the buttons. And you could either wear it where the buttons are in the back or wear it where the buttons are in the front. So I think that would be a great two piece set in order to make at some you know future date, of course. All right, let's move into would I recommend this pattern to others? Yes, I would. I feel like this is a classic and elegant dress to recommend to anyone who just wants a quick dress. Now, I would not say that the sewing is quick because it did take me two days to do this dress. I did the bodice one day and then the skirt the second day um, and put on buttons the third day, okay? So hand sewing on buttons is not my favorite thing to do, but I felt like the buttons that I chose for this dress, which is the same buttons that I used on the extended cuff blouse that I did a sew along for, which I will link on the end screen. It's the exact same buttons. I just had a lot left over um, and I just went ahead and used those buttons instead of just using regular white buttons, all right? So let's go ahead and talk about my pattern rating. So for this pattern, I'm gonna give this pattern a 4.5 out of five. And the only reason why I'm taking off a half a point is simply because the length. The length is the only thing that can trip you up. There's nothing that I dislike about it, but I just feel like it could give you more options. Um, so when I originally picked up the pattern, I did not look at the buttons on the back. I was really shocked on how is one person supposed to put this dress on? And you may ask, how did you get into this dress with no help or whatever? So basically you have to button the dress up from the front and then turn it around to the back and then button up the top too. Um, that can be a little annoying um, for us who wants to get dressed quickly like myself. Um, so that's the only thing that I kind of dislike about the pattern, but everything else is all love. Well, that's it for this pattern review. I hope you enjoyed this pattern review of Simplicity 9324, dress number seven in the dress series, the patch pocket dress. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing.